This year was supposed to be the year of dating with intention, but are we doing it right? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jasmine Diaz, Celebrity Matchmaker. If this is your first time here, I would love to welcome you to the crew. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, definitely subscribe. I'm your favorite matchmaker here on YouTube and I'm actually I'm one of the few who post regularly. So um, each week I provide dating and relationship advice. We talk about many different topics, but today I'm going to cover how to date with intention the right way because most people don't really know how to date with intention. They say it, right? They want it, but they don't know how to be it. So, um, so today we're gonna talk about that. How do we go through the process of actually dating with intention? Now, a lot of what I've seen over my journey as a matchmaker, I've been matchmaking um, overall for about over 20 years or so, but professionally for the last 11 years. And my experience has been that most people, when they date, they don't actually date prospects, right? They actually date potential prospects. So you might be asking yourself, what exactly is a prospect, Jasmine? I don't understand these words that you're throwing out there. Well, let me, let me pull up the definition and let's talk about it. A prospect is the possibility that something will happen in the future. An opportunity for something to happen or someone or something that is likely to succeed or to be chosen. So the problem with how a lot of singles date is that they don't actually date prospects. They date potential. They don't actually uh, spend their time properly vetting someone to determine if they are a prospect, which is determining whether or not that someone has the potential to be what they're looking for. So you will probably find yourself in this category of feeling like dates suck, <laughs> right? You might be feeling like, I really do not enjoy this process. This thing is just not for me. And if that's you, or if you're in this category, it's likely because you're using your dates as a way to vet as opposed to vetting before you go on dates with people who actually have potential. So I know all of this might sound a little strange and I might be losing some people along the way, but I ask that you just kind of hang with me for a second because this is something that is a bit of a learning experience. Now, as a professional matchmaker, often what we do, and this is kind of the claim to fame, is we spend time vetting our potential matches for clients. So we take time in like the get to know you phase. I call it the discovery phase where I'm discovering things about people. But um, we spend a lot of time in this space, right? Really understanding who they are, what they value, what their lifestyle is, what they bring to the table, all of these things. These are things that we are doing before they actually get on dates. So of course, as a matchmaker, the people that we connect with and that we meet, these people aren't going on dates with us, right? Like I'm very happily married. I'm not trying to be set up with anybody that I meet. But what I am doing is that I am setting my client up for success. I'm giving them the very best chance of connecting with someone who is already in the place that they are, which is they want a long-term relationship, they want commitment, they want companionship. I already understand where they stand about like their family goals, whether or not they want children. I understand their, uh, their salary, their income, their education, all of these things before they go on a date. So when my client shows up on a date, really what's happening is we're trying to learn more, of course, about the person, but we're not vetting them. They've already gone through the vetting process. What we're trying to determine is if there's chemistry, if there's something that has potential for longevity. And if you're not doing that, then you are probably wasting your time. So how is it that you can go through the process of vetting people before you go on dates? Because what I want you to do is to learn ways that you can actually go on dates with prospects. This is dating with intention. These are people who realistically check the box and you are actually spending time really getting to know that person. Um, there's so many ways, there's many ways and I'm gonna walk you through each one. So in my best dating uh, trends video of 2021, I talked about a couple of things that are really like popping, I, like little trends that are going well for daters that I would love to see moving forward. And one of those trends is video dating. If you haven't 
seen the video, I'm definitely going to link it above, but video dating is a trend that I have actually uh, been a part of long before it was considered a trend. Um, a lot of the clients that I work with are uh, such that they are well-traveled and they're not always home. And um, video dating is one of the methods in which we make our matches and how we have these conversations, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so, um, so video dating is a way that you can actually vet singles. And um, I know that like the, the culture of online dating is that you just want to meet the people, see if they got it, if they don't, move on. But I feel as though that that will likely lead you to wasting more of your time and not actually less like you intend. So what I would encourage you to do if you are on the apps or however way that you're connecting with people is that you slow down, take your time and talk to the people that you're matching with. If you're meeting people on apps, take your time to actually open the door for conversation on these platforms. Um, whether that's through the messaging app, video dating, connecting with that person and asking them questions. Because I feel as though that if you are utilizing your in-person dates to like do 20 questions, let me tell you, hmm, that's a huge waste of time and opportunity for everyone there. And most times when you go on a date, you are looking forward to having a positive experience. This is male and female, right? This isn't just about women getting what they want. This is about everybody getting what they want from the experience. So if you're actually taking your time to ask these questions before you go on your dates, you will likely have better experiences. So for example, if you are meeting someone on a dating app and you connected and you're vibing over Messenger, then move that over to a telephone call. Now pick up the phone. If you're old school like me, have a conversation. Hey, you know, I wanted to understand more about like your hobbies. What are you into? Blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, I, about what are your plans for the future? Do you envision having children? All of these things. These are the things that you should be asking before you actually go on a date. Now, when you get to that date, it's all about recovering what you've already learned, right? Rediscovering, rediscussing some of those things. Yeah, when we talked last week, you said that you really love hiking. Like, I love that. I didn't get a chance to tell you, you know, that I walk the Appalachian Trail, you know, like whatever. I know that sounds so corny, but like whatever it is, this is the opportunity for you to take advantage on your dates. What you're not supposed to be doing on your dates is using it as an opportunity to quiz or like make people feel uncomfortable because most people don't want to feel like they are under a microscope when they're going on dates. They just want to have a good time. They want to have great conversation, maybe with some good food and a little bit of drinks. So Definitely take advantage of one of the trends that I suggested, which is video dating to do some of the vetting for you before you go on your dates and have your experiences. And if you've had this experience, I definitely want to hear about it in the comments. Now, I know I jumped ahead a bit and kind of skipped a really important step with uh, dating with intention, which is really having clarity about what it is that you're looking for and why. So before you go on any dates with anybody, it's so important that you understand what it is that you're looking for. And this isn't like the superficial shit, right? Okay, we, we have more than enough opportunity and time to get real deep into all of the superficial things that we like about a person. But really, if we're dating with intention, we need to go a little bit deeper to the core of like who we are as people and what it is that we are looking for that will actually fulfill us. It's more than just the uh, great body, the good looks and all of that. Those are low hanging fruit, as I've mentioned. But if you want the kind of relationship that most people want, which is something that's lasting, most people don't want to be cycling in and out and in and out and in and out of more relationships. Most people want to be with someone long term. So if you're thinking about that as your like outcome, I want this to be something substantial, then you really do need to think more clearly about what it is that you need to have a great partnership. And once you have that clarity, then what you are doing is you are taking that knowledge 
And you are using that as a guideline for how you are choosing people in your vetting process. So you are choosing someone, right? A potential match or someone that you've connected with online that you want to vet as someone with potential who is considered or hopefully going to be a prospect. And then you wanna move that person over into the actual prospect category and you wanna go on a date with that person. You don't wanna go on a date with a potential prospect. You actually wanna go on dates with people who really and truly have what it takes to be on your arm. So let me know. I'd love to hear more about your dating journeys in the comments below. I am always here to support people, which is one of the reasons why I respond to comments. Um, I kind of went back and forth for a little while on whether or not I wanted to dig deep into the comments section because it's a it's a crazy, crazy world out there in them comments. But, um, but I decided to uh, participate or even respond to comments because I'm a dating expert and that is what I do. I am here to give people insight and advice and support and guidance. And um, even if the topics are a little bit touchy, I'm down to get with it. So if there is something you want to know or want to discuss here in the comment section about how to properly vet singles, you are more than welcome to do uh, do so. You can leave a comment there. But, um, but I'm always giving advice, I'm always giving support. So definitely check back next week on more things that you can do to level up on your love life. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.